Medical group in the Pacific Northwest is working to counter the surge in hate crimes against Asian Pacific Islanders. Kaiser Permanente is investigating their work to focus on the health impacts of racism. And joining us live this morning is its president and CEO, Dr. Imelda Deconis. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Well, thanks for being here. This is a really interesting question, I think, to pose first off is what impact does racism have on our health? Well, social conditions or social determinants of health are very much the primary reason for much of health inequities that we see. So your wellness and your health has a lot to do with the social conditions in which you are born, in which you live, work, and play. And so systemic racism, the social injustices have foundational elements in all of those things. And when we face discrimination, in the cases that you just mentioned of violence, how could you possibly grow up and be well? And whether it's emotional health, it's mental health, it's physical well being, all of that is touched by social determinants of health, all of which are underpinned by the social justice or injustice in which you are born and in which you continue to grow. So that is all impacting us. In Oregon, for example, nearly one in five children grow up with adverse childhood experiences. And our data shows very well that as adults, they go on to have 20 times more risk for illicit drug use, eight times more mental health illness, advanced cancer and cardiovascular disease are all prevalent. And those children are at increased risk for that. Dr. Deconis, it's, uh, this, is a, this is a great way of looking at healthcare in a, in a much broader context. Uh, what exactly, we think of Kaiser Permanente as being primarily a healthcare provider. What exactly are is your, uh, your company and your, your group doing to counter discrimination? You are correct. You know, when you think of KP, you think about health and healthcare, and, you know, it is impossible to advance health equity. It is impossible to address health inequities. You know, how, how you go through cancer and the fact that many more people of color and women and women of color have more chronic conditions because of these social determinants of health and the social injustices that happen. So you can't begin, it's all a band-aid, right? You have to think about prevention. And so this investment of dollars into supporting Asian American and Pacific Islanders wealth and health and wellness in the community really speaks to upstream, how do you prevent, how do you prevent and educate and begin to have healing in the communities of people of color that are impacted by this violence and hate. So, so you are um, pledging a significant amount of money here uh, in the form of several grants. Tell us about what some of this money is gonna do. So we are partnering, for instance, with Asian Americans Advancing Justice, as well as Stop AAPI, Asian American Pacific Islander Hate Groups, and those are just two, and they will help us identify community-based organizations in the communities we serve to really create infrastructure to begin to educate, to begin to address xenophobia, to begin to uh, not just educate, but also intervene and, and really invest in more programs to support reporting because you can't begin to understand or diagnose if you don't even have the data. And so just supporting these organizations and then the healing part. So there's prevention, there's healing and in the middle intervention and really data gathering to support that. Dr. Deconis, thank you uh, for, for sort of enlightening uh, me and a lot of other people out there who have uh, taken a broader look at healthcare and its social uh, implications of, of healthcare and all the rest of that. It's good work you're doing. Thank you for joining us, CEO and uh, President of Kaiser Permanente Northwest. Thanks for being here this morning. Thank you so much. Uh -huh.